Well guys, so it's day one, the start of the tournament. Uh, woke up quite early. Uh, yeah, probably eight o'clock, so I'm uh, playing at 12. So uh, playing Shane Walford from USA. So neck feels a lot better today, so I'm very happy. So looking forward to getting on the table. I uh, feel like I can get down, right down to the shot instead of like uh, on the half down on the queue like I was before. So yeah, pretty looking forward to it. I'll uh, give you a report back after the match. And the uh, weather's been great so far. So let's see how we do. Guys, uh, good news. Uh, won my match 9 7. Uh, did I play great? Not really. Uh, the start of the match was uh, set off great 1 0. Second rack, uh, don't get a shot after the break. Played decent. Uh, I actually played a really good kick shot. He jumps in like a crazy good jump shot. Uh, then he makes another great shot 1 1. And then he breaks, and the 9 ball goes straight in the corner. So as you can tell, uh, as you can imagine, I wasn't very happy. So that was 2-1, so you're thinking, here we go. Uh, I played great, up to like 5-5. Five, five. I think I only made like one little mistake, but I wasn't getting a shot after the break. I was breaking the balls good, controlling the cue ball pretty good, but just didn't get a shot. Just like unlucky a couple of times, and the, the table was laying really tricky where it was hard to push out and all that. Uh, he made a couple of mistakes and got away with them. And then uh, five all, just start to feel a little bit anxious, let's say. Uh, sort of like a little bit frustrated with how the, the balls were running and everything else. Uh, uh, but I managed to go up 6 5. I, made a miss, I think I made like a bad safety or something. I missed a silly ball at 6 5. Uh, after he missed as well, so that was like a tough one. Uh, 7 6 up. Uh, I was pretty happy at 7-6 and then I missed a really good chance at 7-6 I missed like a, a long shot tricky position uh, but then I got another chance and uh, uh, got to draw the ball back full length for the table I've caught I've caught I've caught the six ball and like put put the five ball safe so even though I went for the four ball there's no real value in going for it uh, but I, I felt started to feel rushed by the clock and I felt rushed into shots not making the right decisions and then the pressure obviously hypes up a little bit then because it's very important to win the first match in any tournament but especially the world championship you don't want to be going to lose a side straight away and I, I knew that i had a really tough match on the loser side if i did lose so uh disappointed to not go eight six up eight seven that's when uh, seven seven is when my lucky break come uh he missed the nine ball uh one to easy like but he's supposed to make it uh, left it over the pocket and then uh, eight seven, I made a really, really big finish. I made like two or three really clutch shots. Uh, so I was very happy with the last rack and to get over the line. So except for like a couple of racks, maybe two or three racks. Uh, besides that, I played really well on the match. So uh, I was queuing well, felt good on the queue, uh, breaking pretty good. I just need uh, the next match. I play the win of Christoph Rentz and, uh, or Marco Chusha. So yeah, I just got a break. Uh, hopefully get shots after the break, sorry. And feel as good as what I just did there on the queue, but play with a bit more confidence now, a bit more freedom. Now I'm into the tournament. Got two bites of the cherry to qualify, so yeah. Uh, need to win tonight. 8.30 I play. I win tonight, got the day off tomorrow. And then I go into the final 64, single elimination, race to 11. So that's the goal tonight, is to get the day off tomorrow. If I lose tonight, I think I'll play again tomorrow night around 6, 7 o'clock. Uh, so... Uh, two bites of the cherry, but obviously when I get done in one in one hit, uh, stay on the winner's side. Let's say because uh, you you expect the majority of the best players to stay on the winner's side also. So you want to avoid those guys in the final 64 if possible. Uh, so yeah, uh, good start. Uh, good good good. Uh, the arena's amazing. Uh, setup's great. A uh, couple of little teething problems, I guess, but nothing major. No, can't complain too much. Uh, setup's great. The tournament's amazing. So, very happy. Uh, let's see what happens tonight. I'll catch you guys later. Hello, world. Uh, good night last night. Beat Christoph Wrench from Germany. 
uh, beat us in the World Cup pool final, 11 to 2. Uh, first game was a bit edgy. I missed a tricky nine ball. Should have been played a bad position to get on the nine ball. Left a really thin cut and missed it. And then uh, luckily he could dry the next rack. And I think I played really well. I remember the third rack, I made a really great shot off the top rail. Put like a long half ball cut on my four. And that just gave me confirmation that my game's there. I'm queuing well. And then uh, after that, played really well. Only one rack really well. I had a bit of a wobble at 4 1, but managed to nick it. Uh, played really good safeties, good push outs, good thinking around the table. Made all the tough shots. Uh, broke good. Uh, been a bit unlucky on the break though. I'm breaking really good, but sometimes the, the last ball rolling are coming in front of the one ball. So that's just where the game is, I guess. Uh, but yeah, not running a load of racks, but controlling the games, push out, my safety lights has been really good, and my kicking. So it's giving me a lot of confidence now. Uh, yeah, it's probably like feel like the old the old me. So uh, quietly confident, but obviously it's pull. Anything can happen. It's uh, the game's probably like the greatest humbling game in the world. You can feel on top of the world, and then the next tournament you soon get brought uh, brought brought back down to earth. And that's what the game does. You can never be overconfident playing this game. Just because the way the game is, when a break, your opponent can get lucky. You can get some bad luck, and that, that's it. You're gone. So you're always on hedge. Always aware and uh, ready for anything what happens really so just just grow up it's your day your time and play your game you know what I mean uh, obviously just gotta do the basics and uh, try and enjoy it at the same time so today I'll try and get more footage uh, now I've got a day off so I'm just gonna practice and relax eat some good food finally and uh, yeah I'll try and get some more footage uh, in the arena from the balcony and that so we've got a good like players lounge there so yeah the time it's great everything's looking good uh watch all the guys sweat out today on the losers bracket so i hope you enjoy the coverage and i will uh catch up with you later there's the backstage to the arena I wouldn't notice. Got it here. Are you doing, Pally? Okay. Yeah, good. I want to try and get practice tonight. Is it possible? Uh, that's the times we've got, mate. And we have. I'm got commentating at tables on two, three, and four. Yeah, I'm commentating at six, so I guess around here be good. I, I can book two, right? Uh, yes, mate. Yeah. But then, if I was you, I would go and book it online as well, then. Right. Well, that Matt told me to do it here, so. Did he? Okay, that's fine. So it's just thirty-five-seven, mate. Is that good? Yeah, it's not bad actually. <laughs> eight, eight to late four, you right? Yeah. Okay, mate. Beautiful. No problem. Cheers, mate. See you later, buddy. All the practice tables here. Fabio Petroni, you playing good? Good. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Who will you play today? I don't remember the name, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. You like the arena? Yeah, lovely arena. Lovely, lovely. lovely. It's been amazing. Amazing. This is what we yeah, dream. So happy that we have it back, mate. Right? Yeah. Matt Room, do it the best? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's or do you best. prefer to go back to K Qatar? No, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Amazing, isn't it? I love here, yeah. I think next year will be even better when it we have you, crowd. You're playing strong, yeah, you playing, beat everyone. Playing Did better, I, yeah. Very good, I'm happy for you. Cheers, mate. This is the players' lounge. This is where all the players come, some of the officials. The vice. Top and the king. And the main man. The main Hello, man at Matt's room, right? Yeah. 
Sat in Everyone's really happy. Everyone's got money in the pocket. Have a guard in the pocket. Good time for you. Taking that currency back to Greece. The dog master. That's our boo boo. Now I'm the pool master. And the voice. He's my son. The new voice you know, of pool. You know pool. he's my son, right? Oh, yes. Kelly's our mom. And your catch his manager. My you, wife. Your catch his manager? Yeah. yeah. You're not doing a very good job. <laughs> I lost some money this tournament. Sorry. <laughs> Craig Osborne making a comeback to the pool world. All the way from Itchwich Town. All the way. Daniel Snyder. Right. One of the fans' favourites, is it? Magic Man. You ready, pal? Which, which shaft are you using today? Oh, I'm ready. Good luck, Squire. Good luck, Mr. Osborne. Cheers, Apple. Players here. Good luck, guys. Good luck, pal. Mad Max here. The Polish destroyer. And you got Bridgie, the main man. How are you doing, pal? <laughs> How was your uh, celebration last night, Elliot? Elliot Sanderson, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, baby! That was the first one. First match. Second match. Come on, you crazy. That's not what I said. What did you say? I can't tell you. Secret. what did you say? No comment. <laughs> Amazing arena we have here. Young Julian Roper making his debut, Petri Fortchinski. The world's top players and the, and the best referee in the world there. The best racker. You got Mad Max. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Fia, she was my racker yesterday. Thank you. Good luck, mate. How are you doing? You okay? The boss. The second boss. Corey Jewel, legend of the game. Good luck, pal. Another great racker. The Japanese destroyer. Good match up here. Young Oliver against uh, Ruas. All these guys here. Few GB9 guys. Stuart Colclough from the UK. Good luck, mate. Fabulous Fabio Petroni, legend of the game from Italy. Who's the opponent? Who's the opponent? His opponent? Uh, you want to hear? Yeah. It's on here? DJ McKinley. Oh, DJ McKinley. Got King of Rap making her debut. The top referee. Ryan, Ryan from the UK, Rackin. Say hello, pal. Who's on here? At Marshall, we're in Milton Keynes. It's the World Ball Championship. The main man. Up and down. You got your list? Yeah. Amazing what goes on behind the scenes. All these guys. The interview is here. The comms box. Current world champion. Mm -hmm. Out of retirement. The, the future. Partner <laughs> and the, the legend. Phil Yates. <laughs> what a view. 
Sure. What a view. A bit better than Qatar. <laughs> a little bit. Morning, world. Uh, today is Tuesday the 8th. We're down to the final 64. The draw has been done. And guess what? Well have drawn. Obviously, I come from the winner's side. Uh, so you draw one of the 32 randomly from the loser's side. And I've uh, managed to draw Joshua Filler. So, sort of expected the big name just... Uh, seems to happen all the time so uh, probably uh, yeah not complaining uh, feel good about my game so uh, it doesn't really matter who I play just gonna concentrate on my own gate on myself and my own game but at the same time try and expose his weaknesses when I can and play to my strengths and hopefully it's good enough on the day so definitely going into the match believing I can win that's the number one priority where a few months ago that wouldn't be the case, even maybe a month ago. So, yeah, my game feels good. I just had a practice, had some breakfast, uh, hit the ball pretty good, but never quite know until you get out there. Uh, it's on table two, so it's going to be on the YouTube channel. Uh, a bit unlucky that it's not a TV match because uh, the first match, 12 o'clock, is uh, Feed or Ghost against Skylar Woodward, and the second match uh, is like, let's say, 1 30 pm. I think it's like a uh, you, you rotate onto the table, so when one when your table becomes free, you go straight on, I guess. So, and the second match is Shaman Boning versus Jason Shaw. So, if that wasn't the matchup, then I'm pretty sure that me and Joshua would have been on the TV table. But it's on table two, uh, it doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, hope for the challenge, feel good. Uh, definitely can win the match, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Uh, obviously, Josh would be favourite, but. So just go out there and enjoy it. Rise to the challenge, basically. Uh, I'm here to try and win the tournament and not get to the last 32. So uh, it's a tough bracket, very probably the toughest bracket out there a lot. Uh, winner will play, I think, Kazakis on Hockey Hoy. So uh, every round is like playing a, uh, a top, top player. So, uh, so it just means I've got to be on my game. Uh, can't get any freebies, any gifts or anything like that. I've got to earn my, my racks, my games. Uh, so that's the mindset I've got, so really looking forward to it. Uh, so yeah, tune in. Hopefully when I come back and I'm, I'm talking to you, we've got good news. Uh, and I know if I win today, my first match, then I will play again tonight. So uh, I will definitely check in after the next match, no matter what. And uh, enjoy, and I'll catch you all later. Um, that's what you call a trophy. Yeah, uh, hello guys. Uh, tough one to take. I'm guessing a lot of you saw the match. Uh, lost eleven eight to Joshua Filler. And I sort of had the match in my hands, really. Uh, so it's very disappointing. Uh, match was okay. Uh, first rack got kicked in off the break. But come back strong. 2 1 up. Uh, made a positional error at 2 1. Didn't get on the ball. It wasn't easy, but uh, 2 2. And then 3 2 up. Did the same again. Didn't get position on the free ball from the 2. Uh, tried a crazy cross bank. No other shot really. 3-3, three, three, I go 4-3 four, three down. 6-4 uh, up, playing well. I was, I was playing, like, play, play, playing well, just a couple of just a couple of positional errors. Uh, up to me leading 6-4, so I was pretty happy. I was queuing well, um, making some good outs. Uh, potting all the, the balls, what I mean, uh, breaking good. 6-4 up. Uh, Trying to think what I did at 6-4. Uh, yeah, I made 6-4. Uh, I put another positional error as well, I think. Yeah, I think I made another positional error at 6-4. 6-5, but it didn't cost me. I won the next rack to go 7-5. 7-5, played a uh, good open table. Played a good shot, 1-2. to two. Decent shot, 2-3. to three, one to easy. Just got to make the free ball. It's like a little... Uh, quarter ball, uh, free quarter ball, 
hit on the on the free ball, just make it come across for the four, and I've, I've won the game. It's like should make it like 49 times out of 50, really. Uh, but before I got down to the shot, I'm thinking, don't hit it too hard, because obviously if you hit it, if you hit, if you if if you hit the rail, it, it'll spit out. But if I hit it nice and easy, it, uh, the pocket plays a lot bigger. It's going to take it even if I hit the rail. So that's a, just a terrible mindset to have. Uh, before I got down to the shot, and I sort of talked myself into that and ended up overcutting the free ball, which is like crazy. If I just got back up, uh, reset myself, and uh, told myself not to be stupid, uh, I would definitely made the free ball. It wasn't a difficult shot. I mean, obviously, I was playing well at that point, so that was massive. And it basically cost me the match. But missed free ball, so I sort of dogged it really. So that cost me the match. That would have put me up 8 5. And then, uh, and then he starts getting easy layouts after the break. Sort of found his little tap break there, and he started getting easy layouts. So it was like nine seven or something. I played a kick shot. I was dead. Didn't get no luck and left him it. Uh, ten seven. He makes a mistake. I make a nice out to go ten eight. And the last rap break perfect, but the cue ball gets kicked to the side rail. And I'm bang straight on the two ball into the top pocket. There's nothing I can do. I can't. It's impossible to get position on the free ball. So all I can do is just pot it, leave the white ball near the pocket where I'm potting the two ball, and leave. Try and leave myself enough of the free ball to go for like a really, really tough cut on the free ball, full length of the table. But the white ball's bounced off the rail just a, a little bit too much. But uh, I had to cheat the pocket on the two ball as well to avoid following the white ball into the pocket. So I only can see the edge of the free ball, so I'm trying to hit the paint on the free ball, hit the paint on the free ball, hit it as thin as I can, uh, for the white ball to collide into the eight ball to avoid scratching, and try and put the free ball on the left-hand side rail, but uh, slightly hit it too thick and the cue ball scratched. And obviously left in ball then, so get game over, so that racket eight, but seven, five, the free ball, that cost me the match. If I've got an eight, five up, it's my break, and I'm pretty sure from there, I'm Probably, I'll probably win the match. So. Yeah, very, very disappointed. The only positive is that I know I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, somewhere near back to my best. Uh, I don't miss the free ball. I'm confident I would have won that match and uh, maybe gone a lot deeper into the tournament. Maybe even win it. I really believe I could win it. So that's the positives. Is that at least I know I'm back. I know I can beat at anybody. I can win tournaments again. Just gotta keep putting the work in, I guess, and uh, uh, keep believing and just wait my turn. Uh, but yeah, very disappointed at the moment. But that's the game in it. Just that one silly mistake, and uh, the game punishes you, and you get the ultimate punishment. Of this game, it's not like snooker away. You get to break in the next frame and play a few shots to settle down again. This game, it's just torture. You just get the ultimate punishment, like I did there. Uh, that Instead of being 8 5 up, I'm 7 6 and I don't get a chance to hit 10 10 7. I mean, it's just uh, <laughs> just sit in my chair for like uh, four racks. Uh, it's like a six game swing, really. Instead of being 8 5 up, I'm, I'm 10 7 down when I come back to the table with a chance. So that one bad miss cost me, it's like a, a six game swing. And like I said, I, I would have been three racks up and leading, uh, breaking. Instead, I'm three, I'm three, three racks down when I come to the table, and me, me opponents on the hill. So it's just brutal mentally. But never gave up. Obviously, if I got a shot on the, if I got a, uh, could have made the two ball and got position on the free ball, I would have won that rack because it was easy. And it's ten nine in my break, so I still believe I could win. Obviously, we we been win a break and it's to hang in there. So yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, but obviously, it was a brutal draw. In my opinion is uh, he's the best player in the world. I would say he's uh, the best uh, safety player or anything like that. But he's the best potter, got best cue ball, uh, he's got the best temperament, bottle, all that stuff. So and that's why he, he has so much success. And that, like the champion he is, he uh, punished me, and that's what the the great players do. Uh, and uh, yeah, so disappointing. Obviously, you can tell. Um, a bit of rant, but obviously there's a good reason for that. And uh, yeah, I'm very unlucky with the draw, but went into the match with a lot of confidence, a lot of belief, and uh, I thought 
have a lot of good chance of beating him. So uh, that's it. World Championship over. Disappointed. Uh, don't know. Not not too sure what I'm going to do now. I'll probably definitely stay today. Whether I go back home tomorrow or unless Matroom uh, want me to do some commentary, then you know, I'll be heading home tomorrow. So. Uh, so if you don't hear from me, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching. But I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely tune back in again. So no problem. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's how the match went. So I'll get changed now and uh, sulk a little bit, and then pick myself up and uh, go down and support Elliot Sanderson. Uh, first time ever in the World Championship in the final 32. So it's great for him. Hopefully he does well. Uh, so that's it. I'll catch you all guys later. El Matador Daniel Alcaidi. guys so i'm back from the world championship i uh, just want to show you the guard and what i helped put together last year but I knew everything really paving sleepers all that back there but my, my, my mum's little memorial there got some seating barbecue and sleepers new grass and that's my fishing tackle ready to go tomorrow back on the lakes and i'll time it now for like six weeks so i'm dying of having a nice chill Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the reflection of the time was pretty good. Uh, happy with my game. Had my chance to beat Joshua Filler, but didn't take it. But that's okay. Uh, obviously, it was a brutal draw at the same time. Uh, but on all, great week and happy with where my game's going. Uh, just need to lose weight, really, now, get physically fit. As you've probably seen when I'm on TV, I've definitely put weight on. So, my target is to lose about £30. Uh, Stop smoking and uh, get healthy because I think once I do that, I'll contend again for the titles, and that's what it's all about. Uh, so we'll see about six weeks now till the next tournament, and then uh, not too much on now, really, till September. So, uh, plenty of time to get prepared for that. So, I can practice, I'll keep practicing instead of taking massive timeouts like taking a month off, two months off, like which I've been doing. So Definitely keep my high in and uh, keep working hard and obviously still enjoy the fishing at the same time as well. So, yep, uh, probably the only things I'd like to see is the tournament itself. I think Matrum did an amazing job, but I think, yeah, definitely like to see a live draw for the last 64. I think they could have put the live draw 32 players, get drawn against the 32 seeded players instead of a computer draw, and I've been a big fan of that. Uh, probably more updates of the scores on the TV screens for you guys back home and uh, probably more interviews, show the brackets more. Uh, but just small details really, which I'm pretty sure they know about. Uh, but all in all, I think it was an amazing tournament. They did a great job. And uh, everyone seemed to enjoy the week. Uh, big congratulations to Albin Aushan, two-time world champion. That's pretty good, a great achievement. And, uh, and obviously to all my Al Shaheen to get to the final from Kuwait. Uh, incredible achievement really and going back home he'll get an hero's welcome pretty sure he's going to get loads of kickbacks from the government so financially and everything else so he deserves everything, everything he gets and it's great for the game great for us also uh, it will benefit us all hopefully in the future and uh, uh, excited to see where pulls go in the future uh, we just need a predator to a Pro Tour now, where there's like, what, let's say, a one time a month. I know she's, uh, Emily spoke about this, so if they can do a Pro Tour as well, where we've got like 10 to 12 tournaments a year, even that's just including the ones we've already got, then we're definitely onto something. Uh, Paul, in my opinion, is definitely in, the, in final in the right hands, if that does happen. Uh, and it affords these other tours where the prize money is no good to raise their game. Otherwise, the players will just stop playing, and uh, it's no fun really when you're just playing for ranking points or want to be playing for money and trying to make a, a good living. So, uh, so it's only like a selected few players who are, are making the money. So, yep. So, uh, but it seems all positives. Uh, just hope for this COVID disappears sometime in the future. I know the restrictions are going to be here for a while, but uh, it seems like things are getting better. Let's hope, fingers crossed, that uh, continues. 
and uh, we start getting the crowds in and start enjoying life again really and we all can get back to some normality and uh, some sanity <laughs> so yeah uh, thanks for you all for tuning in all my fans my friend family and especially my sponsors uh, without them i can't do this and uh, pursue my dreams really and, and my success i've had uh, predator cues res on billiards uh, tiger products q world in australia on board sportswear and dynamite bait so go check them all out support them and a big final thank you to my manager uh, kinga rauk uh, she puts all this together for me and does all my editing uh, very good uh, for my mental side of things as well she helps me a lot and so one of our uh, uh, just very lucky to have as a really good friend so uh, thank you to uh, kinga and i will definitely for the next video show try and show more thought you'll be playing it's difficult with some time it's because of the copyright all that stuff and you're not you're not having the range to stream but definitely try and do more in the future events uh, tr obviously improve the quality of the filming as well and uh, yeah probably have a better plan so anyway i hope you enjoy this and uh, we'll see you for the next one